watching Let's Chat. Welcome back, everybody. We are making a quick and delicious and really easy meal for your family this morning. Doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients. What, we're looking at a half a dozen or less total? Absolutely, and this is something that when you go to the grocery store, we're all making our list and trying to get it done. Mm -hmm early and making sure that we get everything we need on our list for maybe a week or so. All so right. this is a great recipe for you and your family. You can just dump everything in a crock pot and you're done. Let's get started. All right. So right now I have put in a block of cream cheese. Um, and so I have already put that in there. And mm -hmm. then believe it or not, I have put a can of chicken in there. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> This is not a good idea, Kate. But really, it, this is my friend had this recipe. She right. shared it with me. It makes your life so much easier, and it works. I promise, it really works. I am presuming you wanted me to stir. Absolutely. Right? Okay. So I put a block of Philadelphia cream cheese in there, mm -hmm. and then I put a can of chicken with wow. the water that was in it. It adds some of the liquid to the pot. So next, I put in a can of black beans. You can get those at the grocery store, any variety that you want, but make sure that you drain them. That's very important. And a can of corn Simple with as that. the water in it, Chip. Dumping it in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to take a can of Rotel. We all love Rotel. Oh, yeah. You've made those cheese dips mm -hmm. or chili with the Rotel. Ready? Dump it in there. Whole can? Whole can. All right. We're going to dump the whole can of Rotel in there. We got a lot of seasoning that is in this, di this dish. We have some cumin, mm -hmm. we have chili powder, and we have a package of the ranch dressing mix. Have you ever used this before? Numerous times. It and gives that, so much flavor. <laughs> that stuff is a utility when it comes to cooking. Are you going to put this entire thing in there? The entire package. Next time we do this, I'm going to show you how a simple pack of this dry ranch buttermilk dressing, it's the Hidden Valley brand, will make a pot roast stand up, scream, and slap your mama. It's that good. Pot roast yes. with Hidden Valley dra yes. dressing mix. There's a lot of recipes that use this mm -hmm. now. It has so many ingredients like onions and just really flavorful ingredients that really make your dish great. So Chip is mixing this up in the crock pot. We have all kinds of ingredients in there. Again, a can of corn with the water, mm -hmm. a can of drained black beans, a can of chicken. You just open up and just dump it in there. And a can of Rotel. Wait, what about the cumin? Have yes. you already put that in? We put that in. I put about a tablespoon of that in there and Chip's special seasoning mix. <laughs> Have we already put some of this Chip's special seasoning mix in? I did put some in there, but I know well, you like spice, so let's more, we'll put some more in there. Just a little bit more. And here's how much more. You lit you've heard of the term a pinch mm -hmm. when it comes to right, cooking. Right, absolutely. Literally, this is all it takes is a pinch, just like that. There's not much to it. All you want to do is give it enough to complement the other ingredients that are in it. You don't want to overpower it. You just want to accessorize it. It's a great recipe, folks. My right. really good friend gave this to me. It's easy. The kids will love it. Mm -hmm. You'll love it. You can put it in the freezer if you want to and have it for a couple of weeks. Um, you can make it in a double batch. That's usually what I do at my house, and then we put it in the freezer. It's not fair to call this a soup or even a stew. There's so much more to it. The consistency is more like a stew as opposed to a soup. But I wish you could smell this. It is absolutely incredible. Absolutely. How long do we cook it? Well, if you're in a hurry, I would say probably two hours. If you're not in a hurry, I'd say at least four hours. Just let it sit. The longer it sits, the better it's going to be. The flavors get together. They get acquainted. The flavors get married. They complement each other. And this, and I've never had this in full disclosure, but this is one of these dishes that I will guarantee you is better the second day as opposed to the first I'm one. I'm sure it is. I got this recipe from my friend. She found it online and I tweaked it a little bit with Chip's special seasonings and then also we're trying the canned chicken. It saves you time and money. Mm -hmm. um, all you have to do is open it up with a can opener and then you're good to go. You are off to the races. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to trying this. Probably we need to let it cook for another hour, two hour and a half. We will dive in Absolutely. and let you know how it turns out. Absolutely. We're going to try to have some of these recipes online for you as time goes on. Mm -hmm. We want to give you some tips if you're making a lot of meals at home like I am and Chip is, um, just to try to help you out and give you some ideas. And really, one of the beautiful things about crock pots, you can cook anything in them. I've done baked potatoes in crock pots. 
I tried that trick. Potatoes. Chip told me about it. How I was tried it? The, it was great. They it really was great. Are. You can cook essentially anything in the crock pot, but as Kay mentioned a moment ago, the key element when you're doing a crock pot cook, don't get in a hurry. Absolutely. Either plug it in the night before and start it up, let it cook overnight, or do it in the morning just before you're heading out the door and it'll be ready when you get home. Absolutely. It's really tasty, folks. All you need is some tortilla chips or Fritos. I like Fritos as well. And this would also be good over pasta, mm. any kind of pasta. Trust me on this one, it would be good. All right, we have to take a break. All right, stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back after this.